now let's talk about addition of integers okay and this is fairly simple again there could be three situations okay we know that the integers could be positive they could be negative and of course we have zero also as an integer right insofar as zero is concerned whenever you add it to a negative integer the answer will be what it will be the negative integer itself when you add zero to a positive integer again the answer is going to be what it is going to be the positive integer itself now there could be three situations that we could have we could add one positive integer and another positive integer we could add one negative integer and another negative integer or we could have one positive integer plus one negative integer right and then depending on how many numbers are there these combinations may vary it might just be a collection of all or some of them so let's take them one by one let's talk about two positive integers so if I look at the first example that I have I have 65 and 73 okay and both these are positive integers so whenever you add two positive integers what you do is you just simply do an addition of these two right 5 plus 3 8 6 and 7 13 and when you do that you add the sign of plus why because both the numbers were positive their sum is also positive now first instead of doing 2 I will do 3 what happens if there is a positive and a negative integer right in that case what we do is we just add these two okay and what that means is from the larger one we subtract the smaller one so let's say I put in minus 9 and 8 over here 9 minus 8 gives you 1 right and we put in the sign of the one with the larger number so in this case minus 9 was more than 8 okay in other words 9 was more than 8 and 9 had a negative sign so to the result I will add a negative sign as against this had it been that it was 9 plus minus 8 what I would do is I will again subtract 8 from 9 I would get 1 as the answer but in this case the sign of 9 is plus so to the answer I will put in a positive sign the third one is what if both of them are negative right again that is also pretty simple we just put in 5 and 15 both the numbers we just add them okay 15 plus 5 gives you 20 and to that we add a negative sign right so typically you know uh, we can put in this in such a form that whenever you add like integers which means both with the same sign whether it is both positive or both negative the sign of the sum is also the one which is there for both of them so we just simply add these two we add these two and we give the sign which is there for them as against this when we add two integers with different sign we just simply subtract the smaller one from the larger one and the sign that the result gets is the one which is attached to the larger number